very excited as a family to be to be here in Sacramento. To the far corner, Maxwell is open. He fires. He hits the three ball. Hey, great things for Sacramento in the future. The leaner with the right hand. Good. We're really honored to be a part of the NBA again. Williams full head of steam. Williams drops off the target. A two hand stuff. The Kings have new owners. On July 1st, the Maloof brothers officially took over the team from Jim Thomas. So who are these guys? The Maloof family is a very successful business family. They own banks, they have a liquor distributing company, they own hotels and a casino, soon to be casinos. We're probably considered in the entertainment business because, you know, basketball is entertainment, the casino business is entertainment, we sell beer, wine and liquor. Gavin and Joe had the Kings. Their brother George is in charge of the hotel and casino side. Philip is a state senator in New Mexico, and he's the youngest state senator. Their sister, Adrian, is the treasurer. The Maloofs are no strangers when it comes to the NBA. Their father, George, bought the Houston Rockets back in 1979. He passed away and then left the team to Gavin, who eventually sold it in 1982. It was a business decision, but ever since then, they have been dying to get back into the NBA. It's their favorite of all their business ventures. Yeah, Sacramento so Kings. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's the favorite. It is. You know, I have to be honest. Yeah. That's the it's favorite. Just, I think the most it, exciting. It's, it's the most exciting, and you know, it's good for our family. Well, of course, we, we like all of our businesses, but, you know, something that's got our heart a little bit is the Kings, of course. When you're in Las Vegas, you almost always get a chance to see things like this. The King of Rock and Roll, Elvis Presley. But rarely do you get a chance to see this. Kings flags. The Maloofs aren't your typical owners. They act more like you and me. Just a couple of regular guys. <laughs> Childhood friend Chuck just happened to be visiting the Maloofs in Vegas, and he filled us in on some interesting things. Joe and Gavin used to be pretty good athletes in their younger days. Joe played at uh, UNM, UNM, University of New Mexico, and Gavin played at Nimi, and they went head to head. Joe was a wide receiver, and Gavin was a defensive back. So they uh, they went after it. Yeah, I didn't forget about that. I didn't forget about it. I, I, I guarded him. <laughs> really? Yeah, I used to pull his hair. I just couldn't help but ask the one question that many single Sacramento ladies have asked me. Are Joe and Gavin single? Oh, you answer that. <laughs> you answer that. <laughs> Put you on the spot. Yeah. yeah. We, well, we've, got, we've been so busy that, uh, yeah. you know, we don't have a lot of time to get married. But, that's uh, a good excuse, see? That's, 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 I, I love that one. I, I do. I love that one. <laughs> that's the best excuse. Get ready for something special from the Kings and their new owners this upcoming season. Gary Gelfand, Good Day Sacramento.